In the name of our ancestors, peace forever and always. I am the mighty one, Angel Snub Nub Seven. And of course, this is what we call the Realities Temple on Earth. I just want to begin our talk by saying, just like religion, just like your ideology, because this here is a very emotional and sensitive topic for some people because the use of what we call uh, profanity or foul language that's a part of them I do not care how you talk like I don't care what you believe in I don't care about your ideology I am not here to convert you to nothing I'm not here to convince you of nothing we simply express our observations and our conclusions and we go on about our business that's your life you can believe in Jesus that's your life you can believe in Prophet Muhammad that's your business you can believe in Joe Biden that's your business we simply express our observation and move on now there are those who wish to better themselves and then there are those who are just happy where they are at and that's fine I wish to speak to those who wish to better themselves and begin to climb a ladder of personal development so that they can be better. Put ourselves on a higher plane. Because clearly, <clears throat> some of us are on these higher vibrations, but you will hear them out of their mouth nasty, foul behaviors. Well, I don't know what you tripping off, brother. That's the English language. Now, for me, as many of us, some of us, we've come from uh, households where the adults use uh, what we call profanity or foul language. When I was growing up, adults tried to not talk that way in front of children. There was a man who said some foul word or profane word or whatever. I don't even know what it was. And he saw us children standing there listening to him. And he almost broke out in tears. I'm so sorry. I didn't, children, I, I didn't mean to say that in front of you. At one time, adults, that was grown people language. That was something that adults kept among themselves who wanted to use that type of language. And they had a certain amount of respect. They didn't want the children because they know that the language is foul. They know that it's dirty. It's not proper. You don't want children to fall up behind that. Also, contrary to popular belief, there's a behavior and there's an attitude behind those who use that type of language. This I have learned the hard way. There wasn't a lot of profanity and foul language in, in uh, my environment. Heard a little bit. There wasn't a whole lot. But as a child, I was not drawn to it. It did not attract me. As a child, I, I saw people that use profanity, foul language. They look stupid to me. 
And as I grew older, when I saw women, ladies, with that type of mouth, it really, that's really was a turnoff. When I was growing up, we still had something called, like Sister Tangy always say, ladies and gentlemen. When I was growing up, we were still encouraged to be ladies and gentlemen. And that is not part of the uh, criteria of being a gentleman or a lady. Ladies don't do that. Don't they don't carry themselves because that language is the language is called profane. It's called foul because that type of language is usually directed towards somebody you don't like, you hate, that you find disgusting. You black motherfucker, you son of a bitch. You don't say those things to somebody that you love. You say those things to somebody that you dislike. Something that pisses you off, motherfucker. And I'm not going to say, and that's your personal business, but there's a time and place. Because some of us are more intelligent. There's a time and place. Can you imagine Malcolm X going to the United Nations and expressing the hurt and the pain of black people to those persons, these world leaders? Yo, I'm a motherfucking Malcolm X. I come from America. Motherfucking cracker, keep fucking with us, man. Keep fucking with us. Why do they keep fucking with us? Motherfucking pigs killing us on the street, tripping with the motherfucking job. Y'all, them bitches tripping me off. Y'all should understand around the world. God damn. Is you listen to me, motherfuckers? That's not proper. That's not civilized. We talk, this language was designed to communicate to those that you dislike, that you hate, that you see as your inferior. Sometimes they catch the president of the United States off the record. You might catch Joe Biden, Obama. They use a little of this foul language because that's what they do. That's what they do off camera. They That's the type of language they do. But they're not going to come before the American people. Yo, American people, I'm Joe Biden. That motherfucker Donald Trump, he fucked up. I sent the FBI after his punk ass. Raided Mar-a-Lago, whatever his fucking camp is. You're not going to hear Joe Biden come before the American people <laughs> talking like that. You're, you're not going to do that. There are many very intelligent brothers and sisters on social media, YouTube. And they believe that they have to be profane and foul and nasty in their speech because I want to talk to the... I'm a man of the streets. I come from the ghetto. I want to talk to the gangsters. I want to talk to the people in the streets. I'm, So here I am, and I was on a new job, and uh, all the brothers that I was working with, they from the streets. They know about the jail. They hood. So we having conversations, and they use profane language and nasty in their talk or, or whatever. We're having conversations, communicating. And the brothers are very attentive on what I have to bring them because I still carry the love of the 
people I'm born from and, and want to see us do better. And I know that within myself, I carry something that can probably help the brothers in their life do better. And as I help them, I'm helping myself. So one day, I don't know what I was talking about, but I don't normally use profane language or nothing like that. And I said, motherfuck this. Or I, I said some word. And the brothers looked at me like, ah, oh, don't, don't do that. And I'm like, do what? You, why are you cussing? Yeah, man, why are you using, you know, why are you cussing? You don't, you don't do that. And I told them, well, I just wanted to try to express. They said, no. Don't be like us. You trying to, you are our example to be better. Did y'all hear what I said? Don't be like us. We're following your example so that we can be better. They got upset when I was trying to express myself in a manner like them. Don't We don't want that. So for somebody to say, well, I'm talking this way, profane and nasty, you actually insult people on the streets. Everybody on the streets are not illiterate and ignorant. There are people in the streets who are college educated. They know the language better than you do. It's a actually it's an insult to them because what you're, what you're telling the people in the hood and in the streets I gotta be, they don't understand the English language. They ignorant and illiterate. So I got to talk to you. Yo, 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 motherfucker. What's up? What's up, dog? What's up? What's up, my homie? Now, if that's if that's really you, I can understand. But see, that's not me, so why should I do that? I respect them. For being who they are and they respect me for being who I am. And we also know that there's a time and place for everything. I know I can go a little ghetto with a certain audience. But then there's certain places you can't do that. So you have to be flexible. Easy for me because I just don't use that type of language. That's just not me anyway. And it's a fallacy to say I cannot reach the people in the streets because I don't use profanity. I don't I don't get get down nasty. That's a fallacy. Because these brothers told me, don't be like us. We want to be like you. We want to be better. And that's what it's about. It's about us reaching out. How are people going to be better when you are telling folks that their foulness, their illiteracy, their ignorance is acceptable? I'm not telling you about profanity and foul language to make mockery of you, but it's to make us be better because you're better than that. We want to raise ourselves to a higher level. We are just as good as anybody else on this planet. That's what it's about. And in fact, Malcolm X is a perfect example because Malcolm knew those words. He knew the slang and he probably talked a little bit. But you see how Malcolm carried himself. And he's debating people at Oxford. Jot down your comments, y'all.